are going to discuss about the difference between synchronous and asynchronous replication in postgres sql what is replication the concept of replication is changes happening in one database are replicated into other database that is in my primary database whatever the changes has been done those changes are shipped into standby database can be configured into two ways one is synchronous replication another one is asynchronous replication we can see in detail asynchronous replication it is a standard way to replicate data in postgres sql as a advantage of these asynchronous replications are low overhead simplicity and robustness as a result of asynchronous replication is the ideal solution of automatic failover and enterprise grade redundancies how asynchronous replication will work the user or client performing a transaction at the end if they issue a commit those changes of the data might hit that standby after the transaction has been committed on the primary server which means those changes of the data first applied on the primary server then it would be replicated into standby server usually it has a small replication delay which can cause minor data loss synchronous replication if we are not ready to take the risk of losing committed data synchronous replication is the best solution it ensures the highest possible security of our transactions how synchronous replication will work the synchronous replication will work opposite of asynchronous replication once user or client performing a transaction at the end of the transaction if they issue a commit those changes of the transaction or data must be written on the standby before it has been committed on the primary server which means those transaction or data first written on the standby then it has been committed on the primary server to view the replication state there is a query called select sync underscore state from pg underscore stat underscore replication it will provide the detail information of our system is in synchronous replication or asynchronous replication the types of replications are warm standby streaming replication hot standby and logical replication we will discuss in detail upcoming sessions